Hi friends, this is Mark Fox with another edition of Amazing Prophecies. Well, this may come by no surprise that recent research is showing that those who are chronically stressed are more likely to have addictions to illicit drugs, alcohol, tobacco, and overeating. Also, studies reveal that those who have chronic stress are much more likely to lie awake at night, unable to sleep. Is it possible to have peace of mind in a world full of stressors and persistent trials? Very quickly, I want to share with you five fast facts on how to have peace of mind. Fact number one, peace is a gift from God. My peace I give to you, Jesus said in John 14, 27. And the Apostle Paul declared, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, Romans 5, 1. Knowing you are right with God through faith in Jesus brings us a sense of peace. Full surrender to Christ brings peace. So you can't manufacture peace. It is a gift of God. Fact number two, peace is a fruit of the Holy Spirit. According to Galatians 5.22, as you and I open our heart to the Holy Spirit, we can experience the fruit of peace. Fact number three, Peace comes when you are a peacemaker. Jesus promises, blessed are the peacemakers, Matthew 5, 9. When others are saying hurtful, angry things about us, we can be forgiving and loving. This is being a peacemaker. Jesus left us a perfect example of being a peacemaker when he freely forgave his persecutors as they were crucifying him, and he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Fact number four, peace comes when we give God our heavy burdens, and we all have them. Everyone has trials hard to bear, loss of a job, divorce, rejection, unexpected bills, sickness, but God's word tells us to give all of our anxieties to him in fervent prayer, and then we will have a peace that passes all understanding, according to Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Fact number five, peace comes when we lovingly, willingly obey God. There is nothing as important as a clear conscience, doing your duties faithfully to God. Great peace have they that love your law, Psalms 119, 165. The work of righteousness will be peace, Isaiah 32, 17. Doing what God tells you to do, even when it is difficult, will give you an inner peace. You know, I never knew peace until I gave my heart to Jesus at the age of 19. And today, regardless of your age, I invite you right now to give your heart to Jesus and claim the promised gift of his peace. If you would like a complete Bible study outline that I have prepared for you on this topic, be sure to go to our website, BibleProphecy.info, and you can download it there. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out my other videos, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. May God bless you and your efforts to know Jesus better in these last days.